Galaxy S24 5 months review. I've used many other phones along the way, but all along I've always had the Galaxy S24 just to kind of keep track of it, see how it performs in the long run. So today I'm going to the Celsius Parade. Currently walking to the train station. Kind of walk you through another day in the life of this phone and keep you guys updated on long term performance. I try to hit on things that are not obvious and already talked about in the past. What they noticed that is a little bit wonky about this phone is the charging port. Every time I plug into the computer to transfer data, it would easily get disconnected. And this is me using the USB C cable that comes with it. Not really sure why the charging port may be a little loose. I'm not sure it's from me showering and water getting in. Maybe the water in my house is too harsh and there's stuff building up in there. I guess when I have time, I can try to clean it out with a Q-tip or something to see if it helps with the issue. But charging port issue has always been a problem for me with this phone. Whether it's not charging, sometimes I plug it in thinking it's charging but it's not. Or there's water stuck in there and then in the middle of the night I would just go crazy. The texture moisture in the phone so it stopped charging. So there were a few nights where I woke up and then the phone is just at. It was completely dead because it did not charge overnight due to the charging port issue. Not sure if I caused it, not sure if it's a manufacturer problem. But definitely something to keep in mind and something that I noticed having this phone in the long run. If you have wireless charging, it will be fine. Of course, a wire charger will be faster. It would be more ideal if you're using the charging port, such as Samsung Dex. You don't want to just accidentally graze your phone and make it disconnected. Those are things you don't want to deal with while you're transferring a large file. I find that I had to be super cautious when once I plug in the cable from the phone to the computer, I just don't touch the phone at all. Just gotta let it lay down and hope for the best and hold my breath that everything transferred correctly. I woke up this morning at 5.30 a.m. Phone was at 100%. Currently it is close to 6.30. One of the things I like about Galaxy phone is I can change the camera in the middle of recording. As you can see earlier, I had on the selfie camera and then now I turned it to the main camera. I can also switch to the wide angle camera in the middle of recording or the 3x2. So these are the three main lens, main, wide, 3x. Of course, if you want to go crazy, you can utilize the digital zoom and go all the way into 12x while recording. Stick with the main lens. If you're taking pictures, however, you can go up to 20x and 30x. I personally wouldn't use it though. There's a train flying by. So you can see how the sound quality is, if it's good at noise reductions or not. Switching back to the main camera. So as I'm walking, sun is rising, capturing some video of the sun. As I mentioned earlier, making my way to the Celtics parade. Gonna try to capture some nice photos on this phone and I will also be using this phone as a hotspot for my Galaxy S20. I have my train app on the other phone and I want to keep it that way because I guess there's a limit for how many times you can switch phones and using your login on another phone. People are sharing their passes with other people so they give you a limit of about three to five times a year where you can switch and then you gotta wait like another six months or so to be able to switch again. So that's why I'm carrying around two phones. So right now it's been an hour since I've been awake. Phone is at 92% roughly. I'm only expecting to spend about half a day in the city. Decide to live dangerously. Did not even bring a charging bank with me. I think I'll be okay with even though it's gonna be a pretty intensive day between hotspotting and also heavy camera usage. I'm going to be using all my video clips for today and then compiling them together to make this video. Right now I'm using the selfie video portrait mode, bringing out all the full repertoire on this phone. I actually do like the video portrait mode, I think it looks better. The cool blurry background effect compared to just a regular video recording. And in general, whenever I record, I tend to just use Full HD. Makes it much easier for me to go back and edit because if I use 4K, it just makes my work so much 
hotter, it takes longer. So I made my way into Boston on the train, just watching some video, playing some games. I ended up settling around the Copley area, where the Boston Marathon finish line is. Did not have any Celtics gear, so went merch shopping early in the morning right before the parade snapped a few pictures while i was inside of dick's sporting goods and both the friends i went with brought chairs to sit on during our three to five hours camp outside i did not think about bringing a chair no one <laughs> reminded me to bring a chair so i I actually ended up buying a chair for 10 bucks, which actually isn't bad. Probably one of the best 10 bucks I have ever spent. And while I was staying around waiting for the parade to start, just snapped a few pictures. Probably went way too early at 7 a.m. and I really didn't need to get there until 8.30, maybe 9 a.m. Around 10 a.m. is when the crowd start showing up and start filling in. So I snap a few more photos as we are waiting for the parade to come by. And since I'm just sitting around, firing off all the features on the Galaxy S24, doing single take, panorama. By 9 a.m. I realized that I totally forgot to turn off my hotspot the whole time. So four hours after being awake, my phone is at 50%. Once I realized that, I turned off my hotspot. By 11.15 is when the parade officially began and it dropped another 24% in that two hour or so period. And when the parade arrived, I actually opted to use my Galaxy S20 camera instead of my S24 because I needed my S24 to get on the train later. Therefore, I wanted to make sure I have enough battery. But in general, I was able to capture a bunch of great clips on my s20 the camera has gotten so good that it doesn't really change that much from year to year i would argue that the s20 camera is pretty similar to the s24 if not the same by 1 p.m my s24 is at 20 percent in the perfect world i would be able to get on the train and make it home just fine unfortunately i got stuck in boston for the next four hours with no charger with me so by 2 30 i'm at 10 percent Decided to go to the bar, grab some drinks until the crowd died down and then finally go home afterwards. Luckily my friend was able to, to give me a ride home so didn't need to worry about having my ticket for the train. Phone died at around 3.30pm. I borrowed my friend Galaxy S23 Ultra to make some phone calls. He still has 70% battery life but he did not use his phone much throughout the day as, as much as I did just in terms of video recording, hotspotting. So his battery experience was just better just because of fact that he used his phone less. Well, there you have it. This wraps up another day in the life of the Galaxy S24 and my experience after having it for five months. There's been some weird long-term issue like the loose charging port. Sometimes it charges, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't recognize I'm trying to transfer data when I connect it to the computer. Android Auto get wonky and if I touch the cable by accident, my Android Auto would get disconnected. If I'm recording video, sometimes the S24 would to stop randomly so right now i'm using my s20 even though my s20 was having the same issue as well i would have preferred to use the main camera because that is a better camera but now i'm using a selfie camera just to make sure that it is actually recording and i'm just not talking to a phone that's not recording battery life on the s24 base model is pretty bad for moderate to heavy usage if you plan to go on vacation and take a lot of pictures and videos make sure to bring a battery pack with you but if you're just at home working from home you got plenty of chargers around the house not worried about charging your phone then you'll be fine but if you're out and about just make sure to bring a charger overall i still like the galaxy s24 the form factor is nice it's small it's easy to carry around it's lightweight the phone will last me seven years if i choose to keep it that long which i doubt i will it's not perfect by any means but it is good for me maybe it's not meant to go parade video shooting <laughs> every single day but that's not something i gotta worry about on a normal day with this phone i still like it for what it is and just easier for me to use throughout the day with one hand all right guys i hope you find this long-term review to be helpful remember to like and subscribe please check out my last video where i did a review on the google pixel watch 2 um, i don't typically like to wear watches but i did decide to review that one anyways just to see how well it performs so make sure to check that out if you haven't already appreciate the time as always and see you guys over there